Welcome everybody, my name is Michael, and today we're discussing about Reddit Moons and the Vault, which is if you're doing anything related on a Reddit to blockchain, such as you're purchasing avatars or selling avatars or getting donations or whatever, then in that point you're able to take real money and put it in just like before with Reddit Gold, which was their own currency, it wasn't a cryptocurrency, it was just a digital currency that was awarded to people uh, usually with uh, war, war, very well thought out comments uh, or something that people just wanted to support. And that was their way of showing it. It was like a super like. You upvoted it and then you gave them a little avatar or whatever. Reddit's changed a lot over the past two years. And one of those changes, major change, was that now you're able to get on certain communities special tokens. And on the cryptocurrency community, which is huge, massive, over 6 million followers right now, there's a lot of moons going around. Moons are the token, the cryptocurrency that you're able to get if you have a very well thought out common. Sometimes you might get one moon, two moon, whatever, and then it adds up. There's a lot of people with, just like Karma, which is Reddit's own system, the more upvotes you get, the better karma you have. Right now, my account has almost 8,000 karma. Well, there's people with thousands of moons. And right now, recently, these moons were finally turned into something that's tangible because you're able to sell it, you're able to trade it, you're able to do whatever you want. It's on exchanges right now. And there was this post I was reading, these people with 80,000 plus moons. Right now, there's people with a couple hundred thousand moons because they're trading in. Can they really cash in around 10,000 US dollars if they wanted to? Right now, this individual has checked three exchanges that are trading each one for around 13 cents. Uh, can they really go on, let's say, gate.io? Which here we are. This is the website. Trade over 1,400 cryptocurrencies safely, quickly, and easily. And here you go. This is one of the top posts here. And a lot of people are saying, well, part of that is there's not too many people with that. However, you're able to... Um, see who the people with the most amount of karma are, the people who are commenting a lot. And with that, over time, you're able to get these moons. And yes, you're able to actually turn them into pretty crazy balances. Okay, looks like uh, we're well above a couple hundred thousand. So some of them are even getting into the millions. Now, these two are from Reddit themselves. Uh, Arbitrum Nova Bridge, which is something that if you go to the top post, you're able to see that this is very recent. The moon's bridge to Arbitrum Nova has been de deprecated. 4.77 million moons will be burned next week. Well, the reason they're gonna be burned is because anytime similar to Ethereum, anytime you have too many and you burn them, the value of them goes up, you have less of them. So this guy's probably a trader or whatever. This is an exchange, I believe. Uh, here's another Reddit wallet, a burn address, but let's just say a couple of these users who are actually uh, legitimate, they have, you know, close to a million moons or even a couple hundred thousand, half a million moons. At this point, if you go on the exchanges that this is listed on, you will be able to see over time right now, gate.io, BitGet, and Mexi. So it was an exchange. At that point, you can see there's not a huge amount of volume. Most of that is on Mexi with $48,000 worth of volume. There's one big problem, and I've realized this a couple of years ago. Right now, it's 13.3 pennies. If you have something that's very valuable, such as a project I promoted, one of the first projects I've ever promoted, Technically, I got paid for that in a coin that was worth maybe a couple hundred dollars, uh, and then it went up to one point over a thousand dollars, except the volume was so low, as in it got to a point where it was a couple hundred dollars, it was even impossible to sell it because this was globally. Globally, we had so many people logging on, and if you're trying to get a certain price for it, well, that's not going to happen, so you try and undercut the other guys. And eventually the volume goes down and you're not able to sell it because maybe someone will purchase a small amount from you where that's not even going to be the uh, amount that is eligible, makes you eligible to withdraw from that platform. But at that point, someone is able to purchase maybe one one thousandth of what you're selling. The price goes down. Selling can't sell the rest. Well, if you adjust the price, if you sell 10, 10 one hundredths of what you're selling, uh, or even, you know, half at that point, maybe you might get a certain dollar amount you were expecting, a portion of that, and the rest you won't be able to sell it because the price keeps decreasing. No one wants to buy it at that point, too little volume. It's just not worth it. Right now, though, this has a market cap of $33 million. Nothing compared to all the large coins. It's ranked 3000 
but this is something that was just recently available on these markets. There's going to be more exchanges with that soon, and this is just one of many subreddit communities that will now have cryptocurrencies. So there's not to worry, you know, most of this is not just for collecting money and trying to cash out, it's for fun. However, in order to join in the fun, you first have to have a Reddit vault, which I admit I have never created. So let's create one together. All right, it's actually in there where it wasn't popping up previously. It was just coins. Uh, here's a couple things. If it's not popping up, one is that you should be joined with or a cryptocurrency. However, if it's not popping up, there's, this is just what I hit, reddit.com slash vault reddit.com slash vault, pretty easy to remember. And after that, that's when this popped up. So all we have to do, <laughs> let's see, get started, okay. Create your vault, your vault lives on your phone. Okay, I agree, generating vaults. All right, Lau, it said, ta-da, your vault is ready. Protect your vault to keep your vault safe. We recommend storing a backup on Reddit. If you'd rather not use Reddit as a backup, you can also manually back it up by saving your recovery phrase. Keep in mind that if you don't have a backup and you lose your phone, you won't be able to access your vote. Nobody can help you. Same thing with the crypto wallet. Backup on Reddit. Well, at this point, now we have to create our own password. I'm not going to be showing that, but it seems pretty easy. 